We are laying the groundwork here for hashtag, what is it called? Hashtag um, Hibernation 2020. Simon Savage's readathon this weekend for March 28th and 29th. And um, I was just writing down the prompts and I was picking my reading. So um, there are four prompts. Uh, there's some bonus things, but the bonus things I'm not going to do. Here's what I'm doing. First prompt, a book by a favorite author. I'm counting the lacuna as part of that because I am reading that book as part of the favorite authors, 12 favorite authors that I wanted to read again in 2020 project. So I am almost done that audiobook. It's a little bit, I'm cheating a little bit because I'm really close to being done that book, but I'm still gonna count it. Um, saving for a rainy, a book you've been saving for a rainy day. So what I chose for that was The Dwelling of Weather by Hilary Clark. This is a poetry collection. Hilary Clark is a Canadian poet, um, born in Vancouver, now lives in Saskatoon. Um, and um, I thought that because we're talking about rainy days, that something called The Dwelling of Weather, it's got these clouds, um, and it is actually raining here today. So um, I'm also um, gonna count this one as kind of short and sweet along with this one, which is my um, Every Man's Library Pocket Poets collection of poems of the sea. And so I'm gonna be reading some poetry this weekend because um, I feel like I need some poetry. I feel like I wanna be transported. I'm really missing the sea right now, the beach. And I think it's because um, I couldn't go there last weekend. We tried to go and it was too crowded in the parking lot. We could tell just by the parking lot that it was gonna be too busy. So we didn't go. And I just wanted to hear waves and like be near water. So I'm hoping that these two poetry collections will help with that problem. We might try to go again this weekend because it's raining, so maybe less people will be out and about and we will be able to safely physical distance while being at the beach, but um, we shall see. I really don't know. So saving for a rainy day and a book that's short and sweet. So this one is quite short. It is 107 pages. And this one is a little bit longer because it's a bit like it's got more density to it, but this is something I'm going to be dipping in and out of. I probably won't read every single poem, but I will be reading some of it. Um, the next one is a comfort read, so a book from your favorite time period. And what I've decided to put down for that one is um, A Woman's Touch, um, Kate Reed and Canada's Grand Hotels by Kate Armour Reed. So Kate Reed is this woman and then Kate Armour Reed is her granddaughter who wrote this book. And I'm also reading this um, because uh, for the BookTube Prize coming up I'm going to be judging in the fiction so I wanted to start a different nonfiction. and I'm also reading this for the Curious Adventure Challenge um, put on by Natalie. Um, and I wanted to do this book because it is a local author and that's part of her challenges. So local author, um, new to me press, and it's kind of a local, she came from a local area but then traveled all across Canada. Um, she was decorating all these really fancy grand hotels. It's a really extensive book. It has a lot of photographs in it. Um, but I just thought this would be fun to kind of slowly read through while I'm reading a lot of fiction for the Booktube Prize in April. Um, and that is that for now. I'm also going to start into this little um, short story collection, potentially, uh, The Dark Dark by Samantha Hunt, but I'm going to talk about more of these things um, in my April TBR. And so that is the beginning. Um, I'm not sure again how exciting this vlog is going to be for this weekend but we're just going to read and we're just going to participate and we're just going to get through this time
So I'll check in again later. Hey friends, I just wanted to wrap up um, my reading for High Bear Nation. I didn't really do an outro, so I thought I would just wrap it up for you today. Um, I finished three books. So I finished The Lacuna by Barbara Kingsolver on audio, which I loved. I finished um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which, I mean, I understand now. I understand the hype around that book. I understand why so many people love it. I think it's an amazing, amazing book, but I'll talk about it all more in my wrap-up video. Um, I got to about halfway in Hilary Clark's The Dwelling of Weather. This is a poetry collection, and this book is exactly what I needed this weekend. It just, um, is filled with beautiful nature poetry and I really really love multiple poems in here so it was perfect it just transported me into the solace of nature which I really appreciated and The Dark Dark by Samantha Hunt I got to um, 82 and um, I am really enjoying this collection. Uh, this is, these, I mean, by the title, I think you can, you know, assume that these uh, stories are kind of dark and edgy, and they are that. They are, um, I love the length of them. This book is actually one I would definitely say is perfect for a readathon because 
the stories are all kind of the same length. They're not super long short stories. They've got a good length to them. They've got a good pace um, and they have a kind of, I want to say there's magical realism. There's a few kind of super or supernatural elements to them, but they, they're very rooted in um, reality. So um, I've enjoyed all the ones I've read so far, some more than others, but yeah, these are definitely interesting. And so uh, I've got the, yeah, like halfway in there. And I did start reading um, the Kate Reed biography as well. And I didn't get as far into that one. I read the introduction in the first chapter. And um, that's going to be my read for one of my reads for April. So I will check in again. Um, later on and um thanks so much simon for hosting this readathon and i will be back again soon with another video